Hi everyone, welcome to camglish.com. This is Teacher Reyes and I am going to be your teacher in learning and discovering new words using the book CNN Reading Solution Intermediate. So are you ready to expand your vocabulary skills, comprehension skills, improve your pronunciation skills as well as your speaking skills? All right then, let's start. So for today, we are going to read Zoom in. All right, so this is the Zoom in for in 20. And our Zoom in will be about what is a blackberry? Again, what is a blackberry? So we are going to learn more about the history of our topic, Blackberry. Okay, so I will be reading each of the sentences and you have to listen very well on how I pronounce each of the words. So right after I read all of them, or every sentence you will be reading as well. Okay, so let us start. The blackberry has become a must-have accessory for business people all around the world. Very good. So do you know what accessory is? Alright, when you say accessory, it is a thing that can be added to something else in order to make it more useful, versatile, or attractive. Okay, good. But, what exactly is it? Again. Manufactured by a Canadian company known as Research in Motion or RIM. The BlackBerry is a handheld wireless device that allows its users to access their email, make telephone calls, send text messages, and browse the internet. Alright, so it's your turn to read that sentence. Okay, very well. So before we continue, do you know what manufacturer it is? Alright, when you say manufactured, it means to make or produce something abstract in a merely mechanical way. Alright, so what about this word? Do you know what wireless is? Alright, when you say wireless, it means using radio, microwaves, etc. as opposed to wires or cables to transmit signal. Alright, and lastly, what about the word browse? Are you familiar with this word? Alright, when you say browse, it means to survey goods for sale in a literally and casual way. Okay? Very good, so let us continue now. It is also offers a built-in electronic calendar, an address book. Its popularity is partly due to its size, small enough to fit in the palm of a hand. The most attractive feature for most users, however, is the ability to access, send, and receive email through a wireless network, allowing busy executives to work on the go.
Okay, very good. So do you know what attractive is? Okay, so of what thing it is pleasing or appealing to the senses? What about the word feature? Do you know what feature is? Alright, so it is a distinctive attribute or aspect of something. Um, it can be in a newspaper or magazine article or a broadcast program devoted to the treatment of a particular topic, typically at length. Okay, so let us continue reading. The phrase Blackberry Thumb comes from the practice of operating the device using only one's thumbs. Overuse, as you might imagine, can lead to very sore thumbs. Okay, very good students. So again, let's have a quick review of the following vocabulary words we discussed. So our first word is accessory. Again, accessory. So when you say accessory, it is a thing that can be added to something else in order to make it more useful, um, versatile, or attractive. Next is manufactured. Again, manufactured. So this one means to make or produce something abstract in a merely mechanical way. Next is wireless. Again, wireless. So well, it can be using radio, microwaves, as opposed to wires or cables to transmit signals. Next is browse. Again, browse. So it means to survey goods for sale in a literally and casual way. Next is attractive. Again, attractive. Alright, so I would think this is pleasing or appealing to the senses. And lastly, we have the word feature. Again, feature. So it is a distinctive attribute or aspect of something. Usually in a newspaper or magazine article or a broadcast program devoted to the treatment of a particular topic, typically at length. Alright, very well. So I hope you were able to understand our zoom in for today. So for now, let us answer the first activity. So we have here reading comprehension. All we have to do is to choose the best answer for each question. So I will be reading each of the questions and you must listen very well to think of the possible answer. So let's start. Number one, who are main customers of the Blackberry? Again, who are main customers of the BlackBerry? Letter A, music lovers. Letter B, executives. Or letter C, blue collar workers. Very good. So this one is letter B, executives. Next, number two. What does the article compare executives in the BlackBerry to? Again, what does the article compare executives in the BlackBerry to? Letter A, analysts in Microsoft. Letter B, music lovers in the iPod. Or letter C, engineers in the BlackBerry. Very good. So the answer here is letter C, engineers in the BlackBerry. Next, number three, which company owns the BlackBerry? Again, which company owns the BlackBerry? Letter A, RIM. Letter B, Microsoft. Or letter C, Vodafone. Very good. So the answer here is letter A, RIM. And lastly, which is not a way that other companies are competing with BlackBerry? Again, which is not a way that other companies are competing with BlackBerry? Is it letter A, by lowering the cost of their products? 
letter B, by offering free wireless services, or letter C, by making new services available. Alright, very good. So the answer here is letter B. So it's not a way that they offer free wireless services. Alright, so you did well in the first activity, so I will just see you again in my next video for more activities. So have a great day everyone. Goodbye.